Welcome to this presentation on how to write a strong abstract for a research paper. Today, we'll cover essential tips and guidelines to help you craft a concise and impactful abstract that effectively summarizes your research findings. An abstract serves as a brief, standalone summary of a research paper encompassing its main objectives, methods, results, and conclusions. Positioned at the beginning of the paper, it serves as a crucial point of entry for readers, necessitating clarity and engagement to capture their interest effectively. A well-crafted abstract provides a concise overview of the study's significance and findings, guiding readers toward deeper engagement with the full paper. The purpose of an abstract in academic research is multifaceted and pivotal to scholarly communication. Beyond its role as a concise summary, an abstract serves as a critical tool for readers, aiding in their decision to delve deeper into the full paper based on the study's relevance and findings. Moreover, it provides a rapid overview for researchers and librarians, facilitating efficient literature search and retrieval. Um, its inclusion in databases enhances the paper's discoverability and visibility within the academic community, contributing significantly to its dissemination and potential impact. A well-crafted abstract not only increases the likelihood of readers engaging with and citing the research, but also underscores its scholarly rigor and relevance in advancing knowledge within the field. There are two main types of abstracts, descriptive and informative. Descriptive abstracts succinctly summarize the purpose and methods of the research without detailed results, making them shorter and less specific. Informative abstracts, in contrast, include key findings and inclusions providing a comprehensive overview of the research's significance and implications. When selecting between these types, uh, consider the scope of your research and the guidelines of your publication or conference to ensure your abstract effectively communicates the essence of your study to the intended audience. The abstract comprises four essential elements. An introduction that offers a concise background and states the study's purpose. A summary detailing the research methods employed. A presentation of the main results obtained and a conclusion that underscores the implications or significance of these findings. By incorporating these elements, your abstract becomes comprehensive and informative, providing readers with a clear overview of the study's context, methodology, results, and broader implications within the field of research. This structure enhances the abstract's ability to effectively convey the essence and impact of your research paper. To write the introduction of your abstract, begin by providing a succinct background of the research topic to establish context. Clearly state the research question or objective to outline the study's purpose. For instance, you could start with, this study examines the influence of social media on academic performance among college students, setting the stage for readers to grasp the focus and significance of your research. When summarizing the methods in your abstract, mention the research design, approach, and any significant techniques or tools utilized. Be concise, yet provide sufficient detail for readers to understand how the study was conducted. For example, this study employed a survey among 200 college students using a structured questionnaire to collect data on social media usage and academic performance. This approach ensures clarity and transparency in conveying the, the research methodology to the audience. When presenting the results in your abstract, emphasize the key findings using specific data where possible. Be concise yet clear, ensuring the significant outcomes of your study are effectively communicated. For instance, the study identified a notable negative correlation between social media usage time and academic performance revealing an average GPA decrease of 0.2 points per hour spent on social media. This approach succinctly conveys the pivotal findings while maintaining clarity and relevance in your abstract. To conclude your abstract, summarize the main conclusions drawn from your study and emphasize their significance. Mention any implications or recommendations based on the findings to underscore the broader impact of your research. For example, these findings indicate that excessive social media use 
negatively impacts academic performance, emphasizing the importance of promoting balanced media consumption among students. This conclusion helps readers grasp the relevance and implications of your research within the context of broader academic discourse. Here are tips for crafting a strong abstract. Be concise and clear, incorporating relevant keywords. Avoid jargon and acronyms to enhance readability. Adhere to the specified word limit and format requirements, often a single paragraph. These strategies ensure your abstract is impactful and accessible, guiding readers to grasp the essence of your research quickly and accurately. Avoid common mistakes in abstract writing, like including excessive background information, being vague about results, using technical jargon, exceeding word limits, and not adhering to journal or conference guidelines. Awareness of these pitfalls ensures your abstract is concise, clear, and aligned with expectations, enhancing its impact and accessibility to readers. Here's an example of a well-written abstract. This study examines the impact of social media on academic performance among college students. A survey of 200 students using a structured questionnaire gathered data on social media usage and academic performance. The findings reveal a significant negative correlation between social media time and GPA, with an average 0.2 point decrease per hour. These results underscore the detrimental effect of excessive social media use on academic performance, emphasizing the importance of balanced media consumption. This example effectively illustrates each essential element concisely and clearly. Writing a strong abstract often entails multiple drafts. Practice by revising it several times, seeking feedback from peers or mentors for refinement. Proofread meticulously to ensure clarity and conciseness, and verify that the abstract accurately represents your paper's content. This iterative process hones your ability to craft a compelling abstract that effectively communicates your research findings and significance. In summary, a strong abstract is crucial for making your research accessible and engaging. Invest time in crafting a compelling summary that accurately reflects your study. Remember, the abstract serves as the first impression of your research, so ensure it leaves a lasting impact. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. I'm here to help with any inquiries or further discussion you may need.